in the integration docs, we can see many popular frameworks, such as Keras or PyTorch. You can see repos, such as Hugging Face or Spacey, and popular tools. So let's go, let's go back to the frameworks and pick FastAI. For most of these frameworks, weights and biases integration is pretty straightforward. In this case, we need to have OneDB installed. We need to log in. Then we need to import the OneDB callback. We need to init our run and add the callback to the fit function or to the learner object. There are a bunch of arguments here. For example, we can log prets, we can log model to weights and biases. So let's do this now in our training script. First thing that we need to do is to import the 1db callback. We will set seed to ensure reproducibility. We need to make sure that we define and store hyperparameters. This will be important when we start running multiple experiments. We'll store our hy hyperparameters in the train config and pass this config into 1db run. We'll initialize our 1db run, and this time we'll be training a model. So the job type for 1db run is training. We will use artifacts to track the data lineage of our models. At this stage, we won't be using our test set. We'll monitor results of our training runs on the validation set and come back to the test set in the evaluation stage later. We are using FastAI data block API to transform our data into the, the right shape expected by our model. We will use 1db config to set our hyperparameters, such as batch size or image size. We'll pass these parameters to create our data loaders. It's very important to pick and monitor the right metrics during our training rounds. We'll monitor IOU, which stands for intersection over union. We will track IOU for each of our target classes and the mean across all of the classes. We'll talk more about these metrics in lesson three when we talk about model evaluation. This is our baseline model. So we will use the classic unit architecture with a pre-trained ResNet 18 backbone. And now we need to add the relevant callbacks. Let's start with a safe model callback. This will help us save the best model based on the metric that we choose. So let's choose mean IOU. And 1db callback will log our experiment to weights and biases. We will log our predictions manually in weights and biases table below. So let's set this to false. And we also want to have our model locked to weights and biases. So let's set this one to true. I will fit our model. We'll again pass the right parameters from our config. And later on, when we evaluate the model, we will save our predictions and log them in a weights and biases table so that we can evaluate them and, and look at them in the dashboard. And we'll also, we'll also log our final metrics into weights and biases summary. And we'll finish our run. So let's run this code now. And we'll take a look at the results in our dashboard.